Good day everyone! We are group 2 from grade 10 section G and today we're here again to teach you a new lesson about feedback mechanism of female reproductive system. Today's objective I first define menstruation, second explain the phases during menstrual cycle and lastly explain how does feedback mechanisms work in the body and in the female reproductive system. Menstruation is a process in which blood and other tissues are shed from uterus and leave the body through the vagina. It is also called menstruation period or menses. This occurs on a monthly cycle throughout female reproductive life. Menarche or the first menstrual cycle normally occurs between the ages of 11 and 15 and the menopause between the ages of 45 and 55. On average, an ovary releases only one egg every 28 days. Hormones control many of the changes in the reproductive system. Remember that hormones are chemical that affect certain body organs. What really happens during the menstrual cycle Menstrual cycle has four phases. What are those four phases of menstrual cycle? These are menstruation phase, follicular phase, ovulation phase, and luteal phase. Phase 1, menstruation phase. The taken uterine lining falls away so the body can start preferring a new one. Phase 2, follicular phase. Hormones prompt the creation of follicles on the ovaries. Usually just one follens will mature into an egg. Phase 3. Ovulation phase. A mature egg is released from the follicle and is ready for fertilization. Follicle will mature into an egg. Phase 4. Luteal phase. If there is no fertilized egg your body will prepare to shed its not naked lining and the cycle We'll begin again with menstruation. Now, let's move on in our last objectives, which is explaining how does feedback mechanism work in the body and in the female reproductive system. Feedback mechanism is the process through which the level of one substance influences the level of another substance. Homeostasis refers to a state of the balance within a system. Once the ovary produces estrogen, the production of GnRH or gonadotropin releasing hormone and LH or luteinizing hormone in the hypothalamus and in the anterior lobe of pituitary gland respectively are stimulated. The production of FSH or follicle stimulating hormone in the anterior lobe of pituitary gland is also triggered. The production of estrogen GnRH, LH, and FSH is a positive feedback mechanism. Positive feedback mechanisms increase the production of a product and stimulates the production of another product. The substance that stimulates the production of a product is called stimulatory. On the other hand, when the level of LH in the blood gets higher, it will produce progesterone the production of progesterone inhibit the production of GnRH and LH. This is an example of negative feedback mechanisms. Negative feedback mechanisms inhibits the production of a product. The substance that inhibits the production of a product is called inhibitory. Alright! Since we're done discussing our lesson, we prepare a short quiz to test if you really understand what we discussed today. I hope you take notes. Fill the blanks. Complete the paragraph by supply appropriate terms. Choose the correct answer from the word bank. In the menstrual cycle, the ovary releases an egg every 28 days. 
each time an egg is released, the uterus must prepare itself for a fertilized egg. A thick lining full of blood vessels slowly develops. If the egg is fertilized, it passes into uterus and attaches itself into uterus wall. If the ovum is not fertilized, it passes out of the uterus. The uterus lining will begin to break down and exit through the vagina. This process is called menstrual cycle, otherwise known as menstruation. Wow, you did great! Now, let's proceed to our next quiz. Read each statement about the important events of menstrual cycle carefully. Then identify whether the statement is true or false. Write the answer on the space before the number. Number 1. On average, an ovary releases only one egg every 28 days. The answer is true. Number 2. The ovary releases luteinizing hormone LH and follicle stimulating hormone FSH. The answer is false because the hormone that ovary releases are estrogen and progesterone. Number 3. Luteinizing hormones LH initiate the maturation of the follicles convert ruptured follicles into corpus luteum and causes the secretion of progesterone. The answer is true. Number 4. The pulcus stimulating hormone assists in the moderation of the follicles and causes the secretion of estrogen from the follicles. The answer is true. Number 5. The overreleased hormone called estrogen which causes the uterine lining to increase thickness. The answer is true. Number 6. The egg has not been fertilized, therefore, it will attach to the uterus. The answer is false, because if the egg does not become fertilized as it travels down the fallopian tube on its way to the uterus, the endometrium lining of the uterus is shed and passes through the vagina. The loss of cells for the uterine lining, blood and egg is called menstruation. The answer is true. Number 8. After menstruation, the cycle starts again. The answer is true. Number 9. There are six pieces of muscular cycle. The answer is false because menstrual cycle only four pieces. Number 10. The first menstrual cycle, menarche, normally occurs between the ages of 11 and 15. The answer is true. That's all. Thank you for watching. I'm confident that you learned something. Bye!